Welcome back, everybody. This go around, we will talk about the corruption that is plaguing the nation today as we continue with this part of the unit called the West. Vocabulary for today, spoil system has its roots in the Andrew Jackson administration back in the 1830s. And then the uh, political machine, and that's directly correlated with the spoil system and out of that or in reaction to that, eventually the Pendleton Service Act comes about. Today we'll start with President Grant, who was General Grant in the Civil War for the North, but his administration, and he was a Republican, his administration had a lot of scandal that occurred in it. And it wasn't necessarily President Grant, but it was a lot of Republicans that were involved in scandals. This was not exceptionally uncommon as you look forward at future administrations, presidential administrations. The corruption did occur, and it was occurring at a rather frequent rate as opposed to the um, decades leading up to Grant's administration and the uh, and the administrations that followed. The big scandal that happened in uh, 1872, or the big one out of all these, if you will, is the Crédit Mobilier scandal. And simply put, the way this scandal worked was people were hired out for a job and then that job requested much more money than it would actually take to to complete the job. So it's a railroad company. They required X amount of dollars to complete it, but they said they needed X plus Y dollars. And the government paid for this, but they were paying way more than what was needed. And that extra money went into the pockets of people. So that's what the Credit Mobile scandal was and how it worked. In 1873, Boss Tweed, who was a political machine boss, um, he was arrested. He was arrested because of a number of actions leading up to his arrest. Again, dealing with money, bribery, uh, deceit, all leading up to 1873. So he was in charge of political machine in New York City, and his dealings were also very shady. Um, and again, he was arrested in 1873. Now, just to mention of what all what else is happening in 1873, and this has a very strong impact on uh, our next video, uh, the Panic of 1873 occurs. Whenever you see the term panic, just know that that is, uh, th that is the same terminology as if we were to say a um, depression or recession. So the economy all of a sudden it goes bad, goes very bad. And that's what happens in 1873. The economy goes bad and it won't, the economy doesn't recover for about four to five years. So in 1873, the economy takes a dip and there's not immediate recovery uh, until a number of years later. It was in the vocabulary list and then it was just mentioned on the last slide, political machines. So what are they? Uh, here's a little bit more uh, phraseology, if you will, on political machines. So for starters, political machines controlled the activities of political parties in the city. And then ward bosses, precinct captains, and the city boss worked to do what? And you have it here. Instead of having just uh, legitimate elections to see if they were the most popular uh, candidate and then therefore would be elected into office, instead they made sure they were elected into office. 
And they did this a number of ways. Number two there says make sure that the city worked to their, uh, the city government worked to their advantage. But this could be a number of things, uh, even some more positive things, such as um, you, in exchange for votes, you provide help in a particular area. So the help is given and you get their votes because of it. And something like that scenario is made more possible when there is extra money around. And that also happens here is political bosses and political machines find extra money through deceit and greed. Uh, and that's why you see here in the political part cartoon, that's a image of Boss Tweed. And you see him as a very heavy, robust person. And you see that a lot with Political cartoons in the Gilded Age, the person that is large, is rep, uh, it represents greed. As just mentioned, the Gilded Age is the time period that we are entering into. And Boss Tweed is kind of a figurehead of the era. Lots of political cartoons on him. We'll take a look at a couple more. As far as part uh, political cartoons go, Thomas Nast is one of those who draws a number of political cartoons of Boss Tweed and really informs the uh, community of who Boss Tweed is, what he does, and the corruption that he is involved in. Starting on this slide, but then for the next couple, uh, I'll ask you to pause and check out the political cartoon, try and make sense of what it's saying, and then we'll take a look at these in class. For this one, make sure you note that there is more information at the bottom of the screen than there was on the screen that previously showed this cartoon. 